Have you ever lost a parcel? Assuming you replied yes, I would say, so have I. And I've always wondered what happened to my package. Where is it? Where did it go? What's it doing right now? And will I ever see it? Unfortunately, I don't have the answer for you, but I can say a few of them did end up in my house because I bought them online. Okay, you guys, so today we are going to be unboxing a bunch of unclaimed packages. And that is exactly what it sounds like. Like these packages were attempted to be delivered and unclaimed. So whatever that may be, maybe they were delivered to the wrong place and sent back, or maybe they were dropped on the doorstep, never picked up, or just never delivered altogether. I did a little bit of research to figure out what happens to unclaimed packages, and they basically get flown to a fulfillment center where you have a certain amount of time to pick them up. And if that goes past that day, they get put on pallets like this and sold to people like this. So I bought this palette. I was enticed by it for a few reasons. Firstly, these boxes are not small. These are very big. There could be really big items in here. And upon arrival, I'm now also realizing when carrying them up to this room, that some of them are really heavy. It was also $1,200. So once we've unboxed everything, we will tally up the prices and see if it was worth it. Because $1,200 are big shoes to fill. Okay, especially because there's not that many boxes. Let's count them. One eternity later. 17 only. Only 17 boxes to open up. But like I said, they're big. And one of them actually says sink, I saw. So sinks can be really expensive. So we'll see. You know I'm addicted to buying return boxes. This was only a natural progression to unclaimed mail. Let's dive in and see what we got. Let's go. I thought we would start with a small package because the best gifts come in the small packages, right? That's what people say. Let's do it. Wait, 24 pieces? Is there 24 things in here? Oh my. There is definitely 24 of something in here. What is it though? I'm not sure. What is this? 24 light bulbs, question mark? Is this like a cork? This is a wine bottle stopper, right? Oh, it's for pouring alcohol, I think, or whatever you want. You just put it in and then it will like direct pour. Is that what all of these are? Who was ordering 24 of these? Probably like a restaurant or something? Yeah, they're all the same. <laughs> okay, well, that was definitely not what I was expecting, but I'm not mad at it. I have no use for it. Most of the things that I unbox in these videos, I just donate anyways. So hmm, maybe a restaurant will find them. Here's what those look like. We've probably all seen them before, like put on a bottle. Cool. I actually like the like top piece, this dark granite look. It's cute though. I feel like whoever missed this delivery would be disappointed though. I also don't have a clue what the retail value on this is, so I'll have to find that and then times it by 24. Okay, I went ahead and found something similar and it was $5.95 each, so I timed that by 24 and it was $142.08 for this. That's the first package. Okay, next, let's just do this one. This carton contains soft lines apparel accessories. <laughs> oh, it's open. It's literally open. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, so many of the same thing again. What? Why is there so many? What is this? Is this a wallet? Camouflage trifold wallet. Stuart actually used a trifold wallet when we first met. Actually, wait, he's using that wallet still. This package is three wallets. How many wallets are in this box? Oh my gosh. I'm also a little bit weirded out because it smells like genuine leather. Okay, here is what that wallet looks like. We definitely have a bit of an idea of how much it costs because right in the corner here is $8. I don't know who was buying this many. Let's actually figure it out. So three, six, nine. Oh my God, I'm getting confused. 35. <laughs> Am I doing this math right? 44, 68. 71? What is 71 times eight? Cause that's how much this would have been. $568 of wallets. Who was buying this many? My guess would be a shop owner that wants to sell wallets would have made this purchase. 
<sighs> I'll have to ask my dad if he wants a new wallet. And Tate. And Stuart. And Eli. Everybody gets a new wallet. You get a wallet. You get a wallet. You get a wallet. I'm getting a little bit concerned now that everything's gonna be like a ton of each item. <laughs> so let's just see. Oh. That sounds broken. That sounds very broken. And it's like really light. Oh my gosh. Fragile. And I like the Don't have a lot of high hopes for this. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes! Light bulbs! Oh, a few are broken. Okay. <gasps> okay, so this one's actually good. This one has one broken light bulb. This one has a broken light bulb. This one's good. This one has a broken light bulb. Oh my gosh, there's lots of light bulbs here. Wow, not too bad. Only three broken light bulbs in this package. I can honestly say that sounded a lot worse than it was. This one's heavy. And it says white ceramic on the side. So I'm guessing it's a plate. Okay. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I'm guessing it's dishes. I feel like I got like a re restaurant's unclaimed packages. Cause is this what all of them are? Because only a restaurant would need that many, right? For like a family of 40. Let's see, this will be the moment of truth. They are, oh my gosh. I mean, it's a cute enough dish. I don't need 36 of them. This has to be a restaurant, right? Last time I went to Olive Garden, I swear they had those exact dishes. So maybe Olive Garden missed a delivery. Okay, let's do a big one. This says fragile, handle with care. <laughs> oh my God, it's heavy. What is this? Fragile, three boxes within a box. Okay, what is this? A big stainless steel bowl. Wait, no, this isn't a bowl. It's got a hole in the bottom. Is this a sink? It looks like a sink. It looks like a sink. Maybe this is all a set. Let's see, will it make sense? Oh my gosh, it is a sink. <gasps> you know what this looks like? When me and my dad were making his sprinter, I looked up a little sink like this because we needed something small in the sprinter. And I swear to you, I saw this and people were doing DIYs with stainless steel bowls. How to do this? What is this piece though? <gasps> it wash, oh my gosh, iconic actually. Hold on a minute. This actually is pretty cool. I'm guessing if you had a corner bathroom, you could put that in there. And then this sinks into it like so. <laughs> this is so heavy. And then we have all of the sink stuff right here. Like not a faucet, but like the plumbing into it. So all you need is a faucet. Hmm. I wonder if there's anywhere in my house that I would use this. Okay, well that's really random. I wonder what's the reasoning behind not claiming something like that because that felt like a very purposeful order. Like you like bought that for a spot. Oh my goodness, this you think would be heavy? It's really light and it's actually opening on the side. What is this? It looks like almost like a cat litter box or <laughs> storage container of some sort. Oh my gosh, what? This is Oh my gosh, it's like a bulk barn when you fill up stuff. Look, it comes with a little thing and you would reach in and grab it. This would be great if you had like a big dog and obviously a lot of space. Maybe if you lived on a farm and this could be full of like chicken feed. I mean, it's very big. And actually this would be pretty convenient because it's stackable. So if you had like three, cool. I actually like this. Neat. That's not what I was expecting was in there. 
This is my guess is this is a kid's toy. Oh wait, hold on a second. There's like little headphones on the side. It also says cart number 16. So does that mean there's 16 in here? Wicked Audio Brawl. I swear, if this is earbuds, I just ordered three new pairs of earbuds. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. There are so many pairs of earbuds. One, two, three, four, five, six in each. And there's 10. So 60 earbuds. Hear the screaming assault in your ears. These buds don't just start the fight, they end it. Here's what they look like. And I wasn't just making that up. That's what it literally says on the back. All right, well, it is what it is, I guess. Lots of earbuds here. Oh my gosh, no. <gasps> no. Look what that one says. Pilot, fragile glass sink. Is that gonna be the same as that sink over there? Did someone order a few of them? Oh no, I don't need another. Oh my gosh, this one says the same thing. Oh no. Wait, that looks a little different. Oh yeah, it's different. Let's see. It's like a full pedestal. Okay, let's see, let's start here. We've got the sink swag. This is the base, apparently. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay. I'm worried there's like three of these back there because look at one, two, three, four, and they're all in similar size packages. I am not pleased. Ooh, this one's a little different. Oh, okay, moment. Okay, moment. Here is the sink. I'm gonna ignore the fact that I think there is four more sinks sitting here, and I'm gonna go for something different. Little box. Little boxes can't hurt you, right? Imports dragon toy. Oh, pink packaging. Oh my gosh, cute. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, I can get on board with this. Look at all these. <gasps> these are so cute. Shopkins. Oh my gosh, so cute. Let me show you. Here's one car. Here's another one. With a little donut on the roof. Oh my gosh, an ice cream car. A ballet coupe. Are you kidding me? These are so cute. This one is a cookie car. Finally, some good news. That's awesome. I'm feeling a little better after that. Shelf ingredient bins. Five gallons. That would be nice if these were like storage containers. Oh, look it. It's similar to the other one we got. Someone had plants for these. Yeah, the little scoops in here. Very nice. I mean, I can't complain. These are nice. Okay. Allegedly, this is a dough scraper. Oh my gosh, why is it so heavy? Wait a minute. 120 pieces. 120 dough scrapers. I guess we're gonna have 120 dough scrapers today. <sighs> I'm sweating. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I have my summer turtleneck on, because it's short sleeved. Oh my gosh, I've seen these for cutting dough. There's 120 of these? Huh? I almost feel like the person who ordered this thought it was gonna be one, and then this box delivered and they were like, no, I'm not claiming that. How much would this cost? 120 of these? Okay, here's one pretty similar for $10. <gasps> $1,200? This is kind of fun. This one says Travelocity on it. Okay, there is four of these. So let's see what's in it. It's an electronic. What kind? Wall charger with micro charge and sync cable. Works with Samsung Galaxy 5. Pan to my literal iPhone. Six times four, that's 24 chargers that look like this. 
Do you want these chargers? Because I don't need them. You'll notice I'm completely avoiding these sinks right now. Yeah, I'm doing that on purpose. I'm not gonna look at what it is, I'm just gonna open it. But if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess tiles. It just feels like a tile box to me. Oh my God. <laughs> ah. Is this a putty knife or is this some sort of like cooking utensil? A pan scraper. I mean, I'm gonna use it as a putty knife and I'll keep a few of these. We have our last box before the sinks. This one's really heavy. I'm fearful that this is similar to the last because it looks kind of similar. Oh no. Oh no. What bakery closed down before they could get all their tools? I actually like this though, because I use these for cakes, but I already have one. I don't need another one, but maybe I'll take it just for the fun. I need, there's a ton of these though. Just literally, literally a ton. Alrighty, prepare to be unboxed, you. Ew, what is all wet on here? Fragile glass sink made in Taiwan. They are the same thing. 16 kilograms, 16 kilograms. <sighs> it's four of those sinks. Ah! Actually, I'll open one and see if it's that same gold sink. Then we're gonna leave the other ones in the box because I really don't wanna open it up and just make a big mess. Okay. I'll open this part. If this is gold, it's the same. It is gold. I can't get it out for some reason, but it's gold. This one's the same. I'm putting it back. I'm not unboxing all of this because I think it'll serve better being donated like this. They're all the same. Okay, I'll do one more. <laughs> Looking the same. <gasps> what? It's blue. Okay, it's the same sink though. It's like a bluish black. So it's a little bit different. Okay, well, I can honestly say that was not what I was expecting. I didn't expect to get six sinks. Although, with that being said, if you add everything up, I'm pretty sure it would be far over $1,200. I will add that up right now on the screen and let's see how much everything was worth. Okay, I couldn't find all the exact listings, so this is going to be just a rough estimate of how much everything would cost. For all 24 of these, $142. These two bins were surprisingly expensive. I was shocked but 132 for both. This being bought in bulk could have been a little bit less, but I found almost the same thing for $10. These are adorable and $50 for all. I just went off the price that was on the wallet. So these would be 568 for all. I found this exact listing and they were $12.99 each. $7 a plate, $9 for one of these spatula thingies. I found the price of a pack of light bulbs, not accounting for the broken ones. $12 for the Samsung charger, $5 for this, and then the Sinks were really hard. I couldn't find the exact listings of these sinks. So I just found a glass pedestal sink and went off that. So with all that calculated, this box has an estimated retail of $6,802. Wait, no, $6,802.02 and we got it for $1,200. I don't think there are many things I'll be keeping as much as I'd like to keep those little Shopkins cars that are food. I probably won't. This is gonna take me a long time to crush all of this cardboard. The Recycling Depot is not ready for this. You guys know I am obsessed with return boxes. I think this now makes it that I'm obsessed with unclaimed package boxes. It's like mystery boxes. And it also doesn't create any more production because they were already produced. They were just forgotten. If you are not yet bored of these types of videos, I urge you to go watch my return box videos. And if you would like to see me unbox more unclaimed mail, let me know down below and I will get 
shopping. If I had to choose a favorite thing we unboxed, I think it would be those organizer bins, only because I feel like I might be able to put those to use. At least the little one could hold Chip's food. So that's kind of fun. And I just love organization stuff. I'm not a very organized person, but I like organization things. Make sure to let me know down below which item was your favorite or which one you were shocked most by. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!